Hello, my name is Jamie Shaw. I am a senior CAD support specialist with the Illinois Department of Transportation. And today we're going to discuss how to get your uh, data out of Topo.cloud. Topo we're moving a lot of our mobile LiDAR acquisitions to Topo.cloud to make it easier to transfer files back and forth between Topo.cloud or between the consultant and the only Department of Transportation. So if you have TopoDot, it's fairly easy, but if you don't have TopoDot, you can still access the data. And this that I'm going to discuss both scenarios today. So the first thing you want to do is go in and search for TopoDot. And then you want to click on the first, the top one, if that's what it gives you in the search engine. should be this link here, HTTPS new.certaind3d.com and it brings you to this page where you need to log in which we'll log in here real quick or you, you'll need to create an account a guest account and just log in once you're logged in take a few minutes for it to log in It'll come to this page. You know, if you just want access to the data that we have uploaded, you want to go into resources. Uh, you should get a link from me or whoever processes it, and you can go to Topo Cloud or Topo Pro Dashboard, which I'll show you that real quick. You know, the one project that I just have uploaded is the Mateno Mobile LiDAR. You can see it in here. I've got it in here twice, but um, they're the most recent one. Or you can go up here to the little car and click on it. And I'll open a new window in the Topo Cloud Pro, and you can see the data. If you want to see the deviations, you click on the deviations. It'll load the deviation open views. And you can see the deviation overviews. You want to see the density the same way, the intensity the same way. There's the project information. There's the assessment report for the deviations. If you want to see, turn the overviews off. If you want to see something in the point cloud, just that's a load closest image. The image is kind of dark if you hit up. It'll give you the point cloud over the top of the road. You cannot download anything from, from this view. You can only view it. It's just basically a viewer. So, uh, so if we go back to the Topodot page and you want to be able to download the data, you need to go down to resources and you need to go to downloads. And then you'll want, you won't be able to see all this other stuff. The only thing you'll probably be able to see is a standalone client with a guest account. So you want to download the standalone client tool, which looks like this right here, Total Cloud Client. And you'll open it up and you can so I've got Mateno static data and the mobile LiDAR, which is both the same project, but you have to upload them separately. So we want the Mateno mobile LiDAR, so you can right click on it. You can view the project on the map. So you select a project on the map. And here you can download the tiles. And it says download selected. And basically all you're doing is downloading the tiles through here. And that's about all you can do in this viewer here. So close, I won't go back to that. So if you need to download the tiles, you can download the Topodot position map file. You can download, if you click on the data tiles, you can see all the data tiles. Um, if you right click on the image project, it'll show you the DPRJ file or the, all the images have been created or converted to DPEGs and there's 775 images in there. And then you can view the meta file. 
which that is the DGN that I use, which is an Open Roads Designer DGN. I used it to process all the data and then your survey control check, and you should be able to download both those by right clicking on them. Now, if you own TopoDot, you can go in. I have MicroStation open. I created a file on my desktop. I created a new 3D DGN. You can see it's 3D up here. And if I go in to the workflow and go to TopoDot and start my TopoDot, this is if you have the TopoDot software. Otherwise, you can just download the data with the connection client or with the client, and you can get access to the data. The only thing is, you will need to find a viewer to, that will uh, read the DOT files because we convert everything to DOT files for speed of loading, and uh, they're easier to manage data wise than an LIS file. So basically, once you load TopoDot, you get the you know the license accepted. Whoops, if you own it, license accepted, and this little window will show you pretty much everything you do in TopoDot. So over here on the tiles, we have Topo Cloud View Project. So it's basically just like the client, and we want to go in and we want to. Uh, download TopoDot position mapping file and we want to download it to our so just get give it a name And it'll ask you if you want to map the project icons and you want to hit yes. And you see it, it went and mapped all the position icons. And these are the tiles. So if you zoom into it, you can see it's a, it's a tile. So now that you have that downloaded, you can go down and go in and download each one separately, like I showed you before in the client. Basically, this is just a client inside of TopoDot. You can view the data tiles and stuff like that. But if you own TopoDot, once you download the positions, you can highlight that position, go load selected map position. Now oh, you gotta set the you gotta set the cache folder, which is fine. So, so first let's go up and set our cache folder. Oh, that was complete. Set the cache folder and let's make a folder in here called 3107. Because that's the project number in Topo Cloud. So now I want to go back and go load selected map positions. Let's see, I'll go through and download it. You have to make sure you set a cache folder where you can download the DOT files. And if we go back in the background, oh, this is loading. Let's go to my desktop. And go into my Nintendo and go to 3107. See, it's empty right now, but as soon as this is done, it'll show the actual DOT file loaded in there. First time it'll take a little bit to download, you know, because these are, you know, pretty big files. <clears throat> I can tell you the size as soon as the, it finishes downloading. And we can always look at, in here and look at the tiles. Well, it won't let you do it while it's downloading, but uh, it'll load up here in just a second. It's almost finished.
And like I said, it, the first time you download a tile, it'll take a while because it's pulling from the cloud. After you've downloaded the tiles, that's what you set the cache folder for. Um, there, your debug loaded in. That come back up. So now once you load tiles and stuff from that here on out, it'll be pulled from your cache folder, which you can see. Or to download it there. Okay, so it created one for us, no new folder 3107. So you can go back and set the cache folder point to 3107 here. And then from now on, it'll download them to that folder. <laughs> and you can go just go into your file folder and move that 3107, move that DOT file. And you see, you can see how they what size they are about 1.2 gigabytes and uh, they're bigger than that as an LAS file plus there's twice as many so um, so you can move that into that 3107 file and then go through and download all the rest of the positions and then you can start your extraction mess mess methods and stuff like that and extraction all the assessment has been done all the point control and it's in so you go back to data management and go back in here you can download all the assessment stuff in here. Metafiles has a control file in it. You can download all your images. So you should be able to go into image browser and you may have to uh, import images, which you may have to download all the images first before you can load all them in which you just do that here, you go in, whoops, already download the top file. So we want to view image project, and then we probably want to download the IPRJ file, then we can load it and see all the images. And it'll pull from the cloud, so it'll take a little bit for those to download as well. And all this data will, you know, the first time you download it all, it'll take a while. So uh, be patient with it. Um, and then once you have your tiles downloaded, you can start your extraction methods and stuff like that. And if you don't know how to do the extraction and stuff like that, um, if you go back to the TopoDot website and go to university, and go to online training, there's all your online training. So you fundamentals covers you know what I went through for data management to get everything up in the cloud the corridor starts how to access the training you know how to access the data how to break drape a break line and this is all the line work and surface elements and then assets stuff like that you know and you can go into applications you can do bridge extraction, rail extraction, tunnel extractions, power line extractions, you know, you can do pretty much anything with this software. So that's all I have for you today. That's how you access your data in Topo.com. And if you have any questions, be sure and email me at jamie.shaw at illinois.gov. Or if you want me to refer you to Topo.com for the software, you know, same thing. Email me, jamie.shaw at Illinois.gov. Thank you very much.